Boardroom drama is intensifying at Viacom as questions swirl about the health of executive chairman Sumner Redstone. The 92-year-old Mr. Redstone has overwhelming control of Viacom, with a roughly 80% voting stake. The company has said little on the subject of his health. The Wall Street Journal reports that Mr. Redstone has difficulty speaking as a result of several mini strokes. He was silent on Viacom's earning calls this year and did not attend the annual meetings of Viacom or CBS, which he also controls. Mr. Redstone's daughter, Sherry Redstone, and Viacom chief executive Philippe Doman, who at times have been in odds, have positioned themselves to take over after Mr. Redstone's death. Wall Street is concerned about how Viacom might look like without Redstone. The $18 billion media giant has lost $12.2 billion in market value this year on concerns about sinking TV ratings and the future of pay television. Pope Cella. Pope by Southwest. The World Series of Poper. Viacom, which owns cable networks like Nickelodeon, MTV, and Comedy Central, is dealing with declining viewership in the last few years. Mr. Redstone hasn't positioned Ms. Redstone to be his clear successor. Documents relating to Mr. Redstone's divorce in 2002 grant that Ms. Redstone will become chairman of Viacom when Mr. Redstone dies or is incapacitated. Mr. Domon has a clause in his contract that would allow him to walk away from his post if he isn't made chairman upon Mr. Redstone's death or incapacitation. CBS CEO Leslie Moonves's contract has a similar provision. However, the corporate drama unfolds. Mr. Redstone said that he set up a trust decades ago to ensure that his controlling interest in Viacom and CBS, once he is gone, would be, quote, professionally managed for the benefit of all shareholders, end quote.